Hello oh guys, welcome back and today we're not gonna be finishing off our character uh, because I got something else to show you guys and in this tutorial what we're gonna do is um, add a scene of a grass like you can use it to make the you can use it to make grass or uh, hair a character or something else that you might think of <clears throat> so let's get started so first I added a plane there and we're gonna go to over to the particle system settings and switch over to cycles render and click new and switch over from ed emitter to here and you'll see that this happens okay so what you want to do here is what you want to mess around here with this thing is the hair length you can set that as high or as low as you want I'm gonna set that to about a good amount like 100 oh sorry point one zero zero <clears throat> or maybe a little higher than that that's way too low okay that looks good right there and now you can change the number to I don't know 2000 it's 200 but I don't think that's important, so I'll just set that back to there. Okay, one zero zero zero, and you'll see this happens now. What you want to do is uh, we don't want hair dynamics, do we? Nope. Only if you're making some hair or something, you will want to click that and do stuff with this, like for example, the stiffness, mass, bending, and other stuff. Um. Okay, and now you want to, no, not object, just path, that's fine. Uh, go over to display, let's see, um, that's also fine. Children, yeah, this is where you want it to be, Chil children. Instead of none, go to simple, or you can also go to the inter, whatever that says there. I cannot actually see it, okay, but, and then you'll see that the bigger grass now has some children uh yeah and change the render down to something else because the display is what it is right now but if i change that to a hundred in our final render this is what we will get and this is not what we want here so change that to 23 how much is 23 so not fine 24 yeah, 54 is pretty good. 54. And just make that go back to 10. That's fine there. Okay. <clears throat> now, you don't to do anything with that. You could if you wanted to, but I don't see anything useful in doing that. And uh, this is some random, like, the, you know, um, like if I increase that up, you'll see this effect thing here like something is happening there so we don't want that uh you could do it you know there's a random size change the size um i don't know what that does but anyways i'm not gonna do a lot a whole lot of that thing okay now here the kink <clears throat> you can make it nothing or curl which makes it all curly like very curly I don't want that too so radial is just I don't know um, kind of like messy there and wave is like wind is blowing and uh, it's going everywhere and the braid is kind of looking like trees hmm. but anyways I'm just gonna put that to nothing there right now and then field weights, that's fine. Force field settings, self effect. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's try this. We're gonna click self effect and then instead of none, type one, uh, we're gonna make it wind. And the strength is, if that's okay, or no, I'm just gonna pull the strength down to zero.
Okay. Uh, let's increase that. Or no, never mind. We're not gonna use this. <clears throat> I'm not. It just makes my computer run very slowly. <clears throat> so uh, that's fine there. Uh, yep, that's also fine. Now we need some. What should I say? The color of this. So we're gonna make this color. Uh, um, we're gonna go with the materials like new. <clears throat> Instead of white, we're gonna make it. I'm gonna make the plane like brownish color, like the sand down there, you know. So I'm just gonna do that. That's a good brownish color. And uh, for the settings, I'll go to viewport color. And also kind of make that brownish to see how that looks. Yep, that is looking very good. And now we'll just click the plus bar there. Click new. And we're going to make this green, like grass. And after that's done, you can name this something else like green. And then you go over to the uh, particle settings go to material and make this green so now that turns green <coughs> okay so <coughs> that's just the first part of this now what you want to do uh, what I'm going to do actually is <coughs> sorry for that I'm just a little sick here okay so I'm gonna click shift A add in a mesh cube a cube oh <coughs> Right there, and give that a little down there. Make it go a little higher. I'll just click one here and make a stand in grass like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna scale it up on the x axis, scale on the z axis, or scale it down on the z axis there. Make it stand right on the floor, like that. Okay, that is pretty good. Cast on the y-axis. Okay, now it's just like kind of like a cube standing there. I'm just gonna make that pink, pinky, pinky, pinky color. Uh, now <clears throat> I'm gonna try adding a force field, which is the wind. I'm gonna put one here. Go rotate this. Hmm. Just kind of blows with it, so I'm just gonna select this thing. Go over to the particle settings and uh, force field settings. Or no, not that. Field weights, I think. And then the wind. Just gonna lower that down. Two, I think it should be oh, maybe a little more. Yep, that is good there. So, and then the gravity. Yeah, we're just gonna set that all to one, and that should be good. Hmm, what does this do? I don't know. I'm gonna deselect that. Affect children. Yep. We're gonna select effect children. Okay, now for uh, we can go back to our this thing. Go here, uh, single arrow. We can make this cone. Or I'm just gonna set that to single arrow, so that it's just I don't know something. Okay, now we can increase it to strength or something. You know. We could go increase that too. Right there. That should be maybe a little lower. Yep, that. Okay, so since that's done, now we can. Let's rotate this. Bring it a little closer. And now I'm just gonna select this thing here to record an animation. What I'm gonna do is make that there. And move this right over here okay here so I'll move this a little there and I'm gonna write okay I think I did that 
already uh, because it then it turns kind of greenish there okay so now I'm gonna move this a little higher and I'm gonna move this down there and I'm gonna right click on that uh, no, increase that to there right click on it and then click replace keyframe and now I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna come down I'm gonna go right here and rotate the view I'm gonna click on the three okay right there and I'm gonna right click on this or or no then I'll go back here. okay so uh uh we're at frame number sixty and or I'm gonna lower that down and let's see hmm click number three so what I see here and or I, I think I'll just lower the end to down to uh let's see right now it will be 37 so I'm gonna 37 okay I'm gonna set it to 40 so now I can set up my camera and everything you know just, just click pull up arrow Nope, sorry. Control up. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn this off first. I click N, lock in with view, control up arrow. Or I can click Shift F. And after you click Shift F, and you can move around with the, like you're playing a game. And it's pretty cool. But, you know, you could, uh, like right here, you could click Tab. And then you can like move around with the W key and look at everything and yeah so I'm just gonna set up my camera up at this so I'm gonna click tap again look up W to fly up and like this I'm gonna set it to okay fly it down here and this should be good I click control up arrow and uh, quickly set up my lighting I select my light I'm going to do light properties use modes and I'm gonna move this up here so that now if I go into my rendered view I will see something like this and now let's go back here. And I'm gonna maybe move my camera a little back until I see something like this. Okay, now that should be fine. Now if I go into my this rendered camera thing and I can set my this to wherever you have to save it. GPS, name it whatever you want. Click accept. Instead of P and G, I'll set it to XVID because that's what mine works with. You can set it to any one of these. Okay, so uh, now I'll put the sampling up to uh, for the sampling preview, no, no, preview, render to 54. And now 54 is fine. And now if I go, now I can go and render the animation. And since this is gonna take a little time here, I'm gonna pause it and come back when it's all done. Okay guys, as you can see here, our video, no, um, I mean, our picture has rendered out. And what you could do is click here and save as image and go into the render pictures. And I'm just gonna save that. And uh, yeah, so that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you use this for some of your projects or something that you're working on. But uh, yeah, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.